Lanthony Secunda Priory, founded in Gloucester in 1136. It owned properties and land for a wide area around the city. Now recently renovated as a tourist attraction, with buildings and gardens fully restored. The Light Vessel Sula, a tourist attraction moored outside of Gloucester Docks Basin. It was in 1580, during the reign of Queen Elizabeth I, that Gloucester was granted the formal status of the Port of Gloucester. During the late 18th century, it was decided to build a docks at Gloucester, so during the summer of 1794, work began in digging out the dock basin. Danish shipwright Tommy Nielsen has a shipyard in the corner of the docks. A small dry dock opened in 1818, with the large dry dock, the one you see here, opened 35 years later in 1853. Tall ships regularly visit the port, either for work at the shipyard or open to visitors. For example, at the biannual Tall Ships Festival held in the dock. When the dock basin was finally completed, a lock was built to link the docks and the river Severn together. Thus Gloucester Lock was opened in 1812. During construction of Gloucester Docks, work had begun on building a wide canal between Gloucester and Barclay. Later, it was decided to terminate the canal at Sharpness with a big lock out into the River Severn. The canal did not open until 1827, quite a number of years after the Gloucester Lock was opened in 1812. During the 1970s, Gloucester Docks was allowed to fall into disrepair, and this continued for some time, with the docks looking in a terrible, sad state. Then, Gloucester City Council for one pound purchased North Warehouse and converted it into their council offices. This encouraged other companies to follow suit and slowly Gloucester Docks was brought into the high standard it is today, a thriving port community with many new shops and living accommodation.